It's now time to introduce our honor graduate speaker. Benny Blue, and I've gotten to know Benny Blue quite well, is enthusiastic about learning and deeply passionate about acquiring knowledge and making connections. The list of skills Benny has acquired is overwhelming for any one person, but even more impressive for someone who is only 17 years old. He is clearly well-read and can make connections to media, current events, and just about any topic one can imagine. His AP economics teacher, Mr. Clement, states that Benny Blue is truly one of a kind. He is a rare one of us who is comfortable in his own skin. He's not afraid to be weird, and I love that about him. He's one of those people I'll remember forever. Benny's English teacher, Ms. Abruzzo, shared Benny's mind is unique and his analytical skills are strong. She appreciates that Benny has enriched class discussion and brought an unbiased, I care about learning and things like embryonic panameter energy. His math teacher, Ms. Margraf, states that Benny is always happy to be in class and he gives good, well thought out questions that advance the topics being discussed. It's obvious that he is concerned about understanding the material rather than a letter grade. It is clear that Benny has made a lasting impact on his teachers and faculty here at Chantilly High School. Benny throws himself into all that he does with passion and strives to go above and beyond what is expected or imagined. I am proud to welcome the class of 2019 honor graduate speaker to the podium, Mr. Benjamin Blue. Thank you, Dr. Poole. A uh, few corrections. I'm 18, it was AP government, and it's iambic pentameter, which I got wrong as well. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me if, if I don't speak well, if I fumble my words, stutter, or amble, or wander. I'm no good with speaking. I prefer to put stock in actions rather than the words. But please, permit me to ignore the perfectly good transition I just set up and spare the speech on deeds and consequences and actions speak louder than words. Because you see, something far more interesting just happened. Did you notice something odd in the first line of my speech? I started it out by diminishing myself with an apology and justification for why I wouldn't be able to do something. That wasn't improv. I'm not messing with you here. I wrote it just like that when I was planning out this speech. Isn't that fascinating? I'm here speaking before you, which means I must have a high degree of merit, and yet I felt the need to apologize for what I couldn't do. I've been doing this for ages. Some of you may know me from my talent show performance a few years ago when I made Digital Art Live. I was on the nightly news doing an interview to raise hype for it, and I said I chose to do that act because I'm terrible at speaking. And I am, I am. I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome at a young age, and part of that for me is just not being able to speak well. But it's not just me, is it? I want all of you, everyone, to think of an email that you sent to a teacher. How did you start it after hello? Sorry, I've been sick. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding. Sorry to intrude. And sure, you had a reason for saying that, but it's not the reason that gets me, it's the sorry. It's the apology. Sorry is a white flag, it's concession. And sure, it's polite and it's nice, but when was the last time that sorry ever got you anywhere? It's always followed by the reason you can't or didn't and couldn't. And that is just an absolute tragedy. I see all of us, I see us, and you know what? We are all fantastic. I mean that, absolutely fantastic. Robotics and sports and musical talent, grades and good deeds and paintings. We are amazing, and every single day, I hear sorry, I hear I can't, and my question is, why? Why are you sorry? Why can't you? Because you're nervous? Stage fright? Afraid you'll mess things up? Well, and I'm reading this exactly as I wrote it. I'm sure I've messed up the speech by now. And that's okay. That talent show concert? Nobody knows, but I thought the art I made was absolutely terrible. I practiced that art and the speech more than enough, and if all goes according to plan, I flubbed both. 
You are going to fail. That is absolutely given. Own it. Be unapologetic. No more sorries and didn'ts. Pick yourself up again, dust yourself off, and keep on going. Every single time you find yourself justifying why you shouldn't try or try again, remember this. You are amazing. You are fantastic. You are powerful, and you're going to do great things. It would be a crime, an act of vandalism on existence itself to deprive the world of your attempts. And if you stumble and fall, the impact will shake the earth. And that is just more evidence of the power inside you to get back up again. If that isn't enough to convince you, just look around. We made it here, didn't we? Our graduation. All those mistakes, all those falls, and we're all still standing here, ready to move onward and upward. And one day, after a thousand stumbles, a thousand stutters, we will all be able to act with confidence in ourselves, confidence that we won't fall. And until that day comes, smile. We made it here, and that is something to be celebrated. Let today be proof of how far we have come and how the amazing things all our parents and teachers and administrators have done for us to help us along the way. Let all that invested time and work and effort be a reason to keep moving forward. Let the momentum with which we move forward never die. Each year that passes will ring us inwardly with memory and might. Let us wield our hearts and always rise again and the world will tremble. Thank you.